Hello there everybody, welcome back to Shardog. My name is Sean Sheehan and today I am joined by the best striker to come out of Croatia since Davor Sukar, Roberto Saldic, uh, who fights at the upcoming One Championship card uh, on uh, May 5th uh, against Sebastian uh, Kadistam in, uh, in Broomfield, Colorado over in the United States. Roberto, thank you very much for joining me today. How are you? Thank you, thank you for call. I'm good, fine. Almost time to go, yeah. Three weeks to go. I feel good and uh, yeah, ready to go. Very good. It's. I, I was just looking at your record there, and between the Kalada fight and obviously the Ramazana fight, it was a year. And now it's obviously we will talk about that fight in a second, but I think everyone knows how that ended, and it was obviously a, a not. It didn't go the way anyone wanted it to go. But now to be back in again another five months, it feels like it, it almost feels like it's a year and a half, and you haven't had a fight. You must be absolutely itching to get back in there. Yeah, I'm very hungry. Yeah, this last fight, you know, this happened to me, and uh, I I couldn't imagine that hap- can happen also this to me. You know, I was ready for everything, but for that 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 no, you know, was low blow, and uh, he hit me so hard that I cannot continue. You know, my mistake was also I I wear like bad cup, and uh, but anyways was very very hard knee. You know, and uh, but yeah, uh, you know, in KSW, I I fight only one time in year, so it's nothing new to me. You know, I I, now for now I'm really hungry, and uh, it's good. You know, December now in May again, it's not not so long, like five six months is okay. You know, so I am all the time in shape. I train every day hard. You know, and. I have some goals, you know, to, to, to get these belts, you know, and, uh, I'm super motivated, hungry, and, uh, yeah, re- really excited for, uh, for US debut, you know, it's first time and, uh, I'm very happy, you know. On, on the, obviously the, the Ramazano fight and the, the knee to the grind, uh, I was watching that live and it was kind of maybe hard for us to understand. Was it the cup that was broken, the reason you couldn't, un, uh, couldn't continue? Was it a bad injury? For, for you, what, like, I know it's obviously a very private question in the area at hit, but did you yeah. get injured? Were you hurt? Did you have to take time to recover? Was the cup broken? Can you kind of just run us through what happened? The, the foam cup was like, like squeeze, you know, like small, because uh, I wear this cup, you know, I had some uh, sponsor before and uh, and this was not, you know, it's my mistake also because I wear really, really uh, foam cup and not, not, not plastic, not even plastic or, or uh, steel cup, you know. And uh, the pain was horrible, you know, one day, second day also, and third day gonna be, you know, was, was better. And... Uh, of course, I can be like for five, six hours, you know, it's when I still was warm, you know, and then when I get colder, like not in the night, I take some, uh, some, uh, tablets, you know, like Ibu 600, uh, they from one championship medicine he gave me, you know, and then I go to, to do some, uh, MRI, you know, and, uh, and was okay, you know, after three days was okay, but, uh, first, like, like Herb Dean told me, like you have ten minutes to to recover, you know. Can you continue? I say, man, I cannot breathe, you know. I I go full full, you know, like hundred percent condition everything. And after this, I was like thirty, maybe forty, you know. I didn't feel very good, you know. I feel like I I don't have legs, you know. People don't understand when you get it, you you can you can you know you can feel it what is this you know so this was you know very bad because people accept good fight you know and the the guy throw that knee you know it's impossible to 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 knee off in on this position you can uh, hit me only in the balls you know and uh, yeah and uh, i don't understand also you know because you know he take single leg you know he he, uh, he take me down Fast, I get up, you know, I, I feel comfortable, you know, I see his power, he feel my power, you know, I was very comfortable on the cage. All, uh, everything, what was the plan, I doing it, you know, and uh, he just throw that knee and uh, 
you know, like two, three days was really tough. But I used some uh, like Ibu and uh, was better, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was sad because of this, you know, people talk, you scared of him, why you didn't continue, you know. Why I continue? Because I was not 100%. And this, this uh, I made mistake before and uh, never again, you know. And even Chatri and corner team also say, stop the fight because it was so hard hit. Be you know, it's like uh, he was fresh, you know, in two minutes. He do it to me, maybe, maybe with the steel cup, maybe will better. Now I, I take the steel cup and, uh, you know, now I feel, feel better, co comfortable, you know, like, but anyways, it's not my fault, you know, like, Indeed. I don't know why the guy threw that knee, you know, yeah. were very you bad position for me. Were you hoping to get a rematch of that fight? Are you, were, are you kind of happy to move on and wouldn't want to fight him again? Yeah, for sure, because uh, this fight have to happen. And uh, but first, you know, I have to beat Kazakhstan. It's it's not the easy way, you know. So for sure, we will we will see each other one time again. You know that that's for sure. You know, maybe end of year. You know, now I have to take care of the of the my opponent Kazakhstan. You know. And uh, I didn't decide this, you know, the one championship offered me, I just take the fight and that's it. I have, I have today, I have date, I have opponent and uh, how I can say no, I will wait for Ramazano, you know. No, just give me opponents, I want to stay active in America, you know, you know, US debut and uh, super excited and, uh, you know, on the, on the prime card, you know, it's, it's amazing, you know, and... Uh, yeah, first Kadestam we will see, and then for sure we will meet each other again. You know. I will ask you just before we get to the Kadestam fight, just bef before you came to one championship. Obviously, there was a lot of talk. Maybe you'd be going to the UFC, or you know, I'm, I'm sure PFL, Bellator, one, everyone wanted to get you. First of all, just on the decision to actually go to one, what what was behind that? But also, like, on saying not signing with the UFC, because I know a lot of people, it's kind of their dream to sign for the UFC, and when they start fighting MMA, they want to, to, to fight in the UFC, but not to do that. But also, what part did fighting in Polish MMA play in that? Because we see with Kaladov, we see with, obviously, yourself, we see with Gamrat, that you guys are massive stars there and earning lots of money. So, like, the UFC is a dream for some people, but you were already kind of living the dream as an MMA fighter before uh, you, you know you even left yeah. KSW. So can you just talk us through the decision to go to one championship, the decision maybe not to go to the UFC and take probably a pay cut uh, because of the way FC, the UFC is structured now? I I went to Singapore. I said it before uh, many interviews. I fl I fly to Singapore, and uh, when I saw the 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 fights and uh, the respect of the guys and uh, professional, you know, world stage, like this is also a different part of world, you know. And uh, Chatri give me so much respect that he fly to Croatia in Zagreb. He made a press conference. He give me. Uh, good contract he give, give me like uh he take take care of me you know like i'm not uh, like you know he he tried to he give all his uh power to take me you know and uh i'm not just a fighter day you know i'm like i i do some also maybe i can say after this i do some also moves you know and uh UFC, yeah, well, every everyone is dreaming of UFC. But what you have from this, you know, I have so many UFC guys. I, you know, I train with them, and uh, they were also some uh, like top five, top ten guys, you know. And what you know, this is uh, this is for me like, you know, who 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 give you better, like, respect, who who take care of you, you know. And uh, also PFL also was a good offer and everything, you know. And end of the day, I mean, one championship, not only a fighter, you know. So I cannot say to this to this guy, no, you know, because it's also world stage, you know, they, they sign with the Amazon. They, they grow, grow very, high, very good, you know, very high. And, uh, the biggest platform, if you, if you can see like the, the views of Facebook and everything and, uh, followers, likes, you know, 
but we don't have this because they are also a different part of the world, you know, like Singapore, in China, in, uh, you know, Japan. And uh, now they coming, I hope they coming in Europe and then people can understand what is this, you know. So finally uh, I signed with the world stage, you know, now everybody talk, even my television, everybody talk about one championship because you know, it's big fights, you know, like first time now in US also dreams come true to me. I fight in America, you know, and uh, when I was in Singapore, there is gym also. I have everything like recovery, massage, you know, coaches and uh, just I have something better from this and I take, you know, why not? And uh, I can compete also in kickbox you know i try to to take some belts you know we will see but for now i am like focused on mma way mma gold and uh, we will see you know so i have so much to do now and if i take like mma belt and kickbox belt in one organization on the world stage this i i i never hear that some mma guy do this you know like that then that he can hold two belts, three belts, you know, this is really something different. And I know that the high level guys on the, you know, on the skills and uh, will be very tough. And uh, I choose tough way, but, you know, I said that before, I'm not only uh, MMA fighter there, you know, so. Do you, do you feel yeah, like, that's why. Do you feel like the fighters outside of the UFC don't get enough, you, you mentioned the word respect there, but I, I feel that way and I wonder do you feel the same because like, if you look at the people you have fought, you fought Mamed Khaledov, one of the best fighters ever outside of the UFC. You fought obviously Yaroslav Amasov, who's the Bellator champion at the moment. You've, you've beaten Drikis Duplessis as well, who's probably the number one contender at the moment in the UFC. Like I remember I put out a tweet about you recently saying like the UFC should have signed Roberto Salgic, should have broken the bank. And loads of people are like, ah, oh, Look, if the best fighters are the best, they'd be in the UFC. But that's not the case, is it? And you, people like you and Amasov and others, you guys definitely deserve more respect. I don't feel you get it. Yeah, because I trained so many guys out of U out of UFC, and they was so good, man. Like I, you said that, uh, like Amasov, I trained with him here also in Germany, and uh, you know the, the guys are super super good. You know, I train also Gegard Musashi. Uh, how many, many guys, man. I can, I cannot even remember. Like they, they was also in Russia promotion, like M1, and uh, and I spar also with UFC guys, and uh, I respect UFC. You know, uh, everything is good, big, big marketing, big everything. You know, but some, so I see some sparrings like when I, when the guy was top seven. 2019 and then I see I, I beat him easily and you know like they they also hype a lot you know and then uh, the guy come, new guy come and then boom shock you know and one championship really they are killers it's no no joke you know it's not like only okay this is business you know there is some really some killers and uh if you see like 80, 90% finish rate, I just saw KOs there, you know, and, uh, man, we can, we, okay, take for the example now, Dimitri Johnson go to, to one championship and he lose, you know, he was goat like 11 times, 12 times he defend the belt. I don't, I don't remember now, like, you know, Eddie Alvarez also, and uh, he lose there, and uh, Sage Norcat, you know, so many guys, and uh, people, people underestimate, you know, like guys out of, out of UFC, you know, and uh, I see, I see tough way for one championship, and uh, why not? I'm happy, you know. Also, one of the reasons I don't do weight cut a lot, you know, the dehydration test is super good. I feel great, good performance, you know, I don't kill myself and I'm ready only for fight. I just think about fight and uh, we are similar guys, you know, you cannot cut like uh, 12 kilos, 10 kilos, you know, so maximum five, six. And they also check it, you know, before and after fight. And if you have some problem, if you have uh, some, some more killers, they 
can take percent for few and everything, you know. This is also one of the reason I saw, you know, I like this this schedule, you know. So this make me like more comfortable, like, you know, uh, I'm not hungry. I'm super like, uh, like I smiling, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I fight. Not first to weight cut, go in sauna, make the weight, you know, then kill myself. And then one of the reason I, I lose because of weight cut, you know. This well, is also one right now. Is that a big thing for you? Because when you're in KSW, obviously you were the, the welterweight champion, went up the middleweight, and then there were stocks of even going to light heavyweight. Is that a thing in one championship as well? You want to go to, to multiple levels? Obviously, we've Christian Lee, we've Renier the Ritter, and further up then maybe. But is that a thing you want to do in one championship as well? Uh, for, I have too much to do in my, my division, you know. I just start. I just sign, you know. I don't want to think. You know, okay, fair enough. <laughs> if I do something like in KSW, this will be huge. You know, this will be different, totally different. But uh, you know, this is really world stage and uh, so many challenge. You know, I focus only this, this my my goal 100%. to take my division. You know, yeah. yeah. I was, I was, uh, see, you know, I was talking to one of the, the guys here who's an expert in Polish MMA and I, I told him I was speaking to you and he told me to ask you about Gleason Tibau because coming to the UF, uh, UFD gym, which is obviously one of the top gyms in, in the world, that Gleason helped you a lot with your wrestling and obviously we've seen your wrestling over the last few fights has become way better. How big has Gleason Tibau been for you and in, in improving you to, to become the, the fighter you are today? Yeah, he, he helped me a lot, you know, he helped me a lot because, you know, like, uh, he fought all, all good guys, you know, like also Habib, you know, like uh, Tony Ferguson, so many guys he fought and, uh, a lot of experience and he gave me some tips, you know, on the ground, like more control, like if you, if you watch the, the fight with, against uh, Patrick Kintzel, how I take the full mount, I get the, get the good position, I ground and pound. This was all, everything from Tibau, you know. I, when I train with him, I, I also improve my ground game and he's really good wrestler, good, good, uh, good, uh, grappler and, uh, very t- good control, you know. And now he helped me, you know, we, we spar almost every day. I I grappling all every day. You know, I grappling. I do wrestling. You know, with him, and uh, he helped me a lot. I I, I improve very very uh, like very huge on on uh, on the ground because you know he's really beast and too strong guy. You know, perfect for me. No injuries. You know, I active guy, professional too. You know, he take care of me also like uh, for no injury and uh, he's still on on the on the like like champion mind no he don't do even cheat day you know he's like full professional guy and uh, I like these guys you know so he helped me a lot yeah really Tibau Looking ahead to the, to the Kazakhstan fight, you know, is wrestling something you think you might implement in that fight? Because, you know, watching back his fight against Lapakas, watching fight, his fight against Ramazanov, he was taken down in a few of his fights as well. Is this the sort of fight where maybe your offensive wrestling could be put into play? <coughs> I'm ready for everything. We will see, you know. When I step in the cage, uh, when I, if I feel something, you know, I can do everything, but you know, it depends how we'll fight goes, you know, it, uh, I know it's dangerous striking, but I, I'm also, you know, we are both dangerous strikers and, uh, we will see, you know, how he handle with my pressure and, uh, I'm ready for everything, you know, so, yeah. Obviously, this you know, it's, it's more than likely going to be a striking matchup between the two of your two fantastic strikers. Is is that a big thing for you as well? We look, we see your record: twenty wins, seventeen knockouts. That speaks for itself. But you mentioned about the first card in America on Amazon Prime in prime time. Is this a huge fight for you to like take your start to the next level and to really put on a a show and get a big knockout? Yeah, yeah. This is really something huge for me, for my country, for my village where I came and. Uh, you know, this is really super motivation. And, you know, I, I worked 10 years for this, you know, and now it's time, time to, to, to show, you know, people. And yeah.
Oh. Indeed. Uh, last thing for me, Roberto, I really appreciate the time. You, you've spoken about Croatia a few times now. It's a big thing for you to bring uh, one championship to Croatia. We know with KSW, they were almost there, were almost happened, and they went, they went there, I think, uh, just after, uh, after you had obviously signed for one championship. Is that a goal for you in the future, to bring one championship to Croatia? Yeah, for sure. In Arena Zagreb, it's really also will be huge even when Chatri fly to to Zagreb you know and uh i bring that guy you know to 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 Croatia and uh, some 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 face like uh, like Chatri that he came in because of one guy of the one fighter to make press conference also big win for me you know because he was uh, we was on every television in Croatia in Bosnia you know in uh, for MMA world you know and everybody speak about this, you know. So, yeah, he visit also Krokop, you know, and was really good, you know. Like, man, if I bring the one championship, also will be historical uh, event for for me and for country. You know. Roberto, I really appreciate the time. Best of luck in your fight, and I look forward to speaking to you again. Thanks very much. Thank you, bro. Thank you. See you.